Hello, ETP community. My name is Jane Altamimi, and as the proud principal of the Employment and Transition Program, I welcome you to the hybrid, hybrid graduation ceremony for the class of 2021. Our ceremony will begin with the national anthem. Now, I would like to recognize Federal Way Public School Superintendent, Dr. Tammy Campbell, our school board members, Board President, Jeffrey McAnally, Vice President, Trudy Davis, Director, Hiroshi Ito, Director, Dr. Jennifer Jones, Director, Lukisha Phillips, our district officials, Super Deputy Superintendent, Dr. Danielle Pfeiffer, Learning Improvement Officer, Martin Boonstra. Learning Improvement Officer, Diane Ellis. Learning Improvement Officer, Chris McCrumman. Learning Improvement Officer, Dr. Eric Hong. And Executive Director of Student Support Services, Dr. Jennifer Westover. And now I'd like to welcome our student speakers. Our first speech will be from Matthew Glaybeck followed by Sydney Trapman. Uh, hello, my, my name is Mr. Matthew Glebeck. Welcome to 2024 graduation of ETP. I'm, I'm glad you came to our graduation. I'm very excited to share what I have to say for my speech. I had lots of fun times at ETP. I got to go to many job sites. I worked so hard at ESC, cleaning the kitchen, collecting papers, marking off envelopes, and counting st stacks of 40, filling copy machine up upstairs and watering the upstairs plants. I'm proud of meeting my goal of increasing my typing speed. I made a lot of progress. I got to have fun going into the community for Free Choice Friday. Legendary Donuts was my favorite because I got to hang out with my friends. The parent educators hope to train me to do better when I have a job in the future so I do a good job. I want to thank my friends for helping me as we work as a team to get jobs done fast and right. I want to thank Mr. Jacob for helping me be successful and helping me to find a clever job that I would like. Thank you to Ms. Lynn for being my, my speech therapist and helping me learn new skills for work. Thanks to my parents and teachers for helping me go to ETP and have success in life. I'm thankful I had a great three years at ETP. Thank you. Hi, I'm Cindy Trapman. I'm graduating from ETP this year. After I leave school, I'm going to get a job at a bakery next year. ETP teachers have taught me how to cook. I went to jump sites. I had fun reading books and playing games. I had a nice time being on Zoom. I went to World Vision and Jimmy Max and Vince's and Walmart. I learned how to stock shelves, how to clean tables and unstack chairs. I learned where items belong at Walmart. At World Vision, I packed things up. At work, I sit still, help friends. I learned to focus on my work to ask for help when I need it. Thanks to my classmates for being nice to me. Goodbye to my paraeducators. I'll miss you. 
Thank you to my teachers for being so nice to me and teaching me how to cook and keep a job. Thank you to my parents for helping me. Thanks to Jacob and Trillium for helping me to find a job. Thank you, scholars, for those inspiring words for our class of 2021 seniors. Now I'd like to welcome our staff speaker, Becky Plett. Hello, and welcome to the virtual program completion ceremony for the Employment and Transition Program. My name is Becky Plett, and on behalf of my co-teachers, Jessica Lex and Rex Tucker, welcome. We've had the privilege of watching these 14 young adults transition from their role as high school students into confident, skilled, and prepared citizens ready to enter the workforce. When they started at ETP, they began their work training, collecting a variety of experiences that helped them identify their goals, interests, and aptitudes. Their internships allowed them to try a variety of career options into meaningful real-world settings, in meaningful real-world settings. These 14 students thrived on the challenges of learning new tasks and skills. They made new friends, built relationships with coworkers, and benefited from the supports of a caring staff. With their support teams cheering them on, these exiting transition students are ready for the challenges ahead. During this time of COVID hybrid remote learning, there were many unknowns. Our students have incredible resilience and they have dedicated advocates in their corners. We are excited for the next steps of these young adults. It has been a pleasure to watch them grow into the fab fabulous folks that you will see in these videos. We look forward to hearing about their continued progresses and successes. We'd like to thank the many, the many people who Im invested in the lives of our ETP students. This includes the unpaid internship sites throughout the community who welcomed ETP students and staffs into their businesses over the past years. Thank you for your dedication to providing realistic work experiences. While at these work sites, the community, in the community, the students had the support from our paraeducator staff as they learn new tasks and practice job skills. We'd like to thank our paraeducators for modeling the work and behaviors needed for long-term success and employment. In addition to our paraeducator support, we would like to thank the rest of our certificated team, including our speech language pathologist, Lynn Crudo and Kim Huser, our school psychologist, Jennifer Johnson, our occupational therapist, Wendy Kenzel, our physical therapist, Jane Davis, and our nurse, Becky Dorsett. Thank you to the team from Student Support Services, including our principal designee, Jane Altamimi. Parents, caregivers, and support team, thank you for entrusting us with the opportunity to get to know these incredible individuals and support their development in, in becoming contributing members of our community. It truly takes a village, and we are thankful that the one that has supported, for the one that has supported our ETP students. Thank you. Thank you, Becky. Now, please enjoy our video presentation. Hi, I'm Evan and I'm watching from ETB this year. At CTP, I learned to work hard, and I'm proud of my work experience. After exiting ETP, Evan will continue working with Trillium to find paid employment in the community.
After exiting ETP, Olivia will continue working with Trillium to find paid employment in the community. I'm Anthony Billings. I'm graduating for ETP this year. Uh, ETP, I learned how to do a lot of digital uh, job skill, writing, and answering questions, and helping people. I am proud of all uh, working and all the stuff I can buy with money. After exiting ETP, Anthony will continue working at Valley Recycling. Hi, my name is Joe. I am an ETP student. I am training to get a job. I am using a Dynabox to communicate with my family, friends and co-workers. I have interned at Walmart, Esk and AK. I like to work with people. I like to go for walks and be with my family. ETP, Joe will continue using his Dynabox and will continue working with Trillium to find a job in the community. Uh, hi, hi my, my name is Matthew. I am graduating from ETP this year. I I learned how to um go go to jobs jobs sites. I am proud at it ETP that I get to um, go there, that I get to see um, um fr friends er every day. Jacob too for for trying to help me find find me job for that entry com computer job.
After exiting ETP, Matthew will continue working with Trillium to find a clerical or data entry job in the community. My name is Cameron, and I will be graduating from ETP this year. At ETP, I always end with a kind word. After exiting ETP, Cameron will continue working with Trillium to find a job in the community. My name is Nick Jackson. It's been at road to do that and I can find good white tables clean windows for my job. I'm proud to graduate at ETP. No more school for me. After exiting ETP, Nick will continue working with Trillium to find a job in the community. Hi, my name is Sean, and I'm graduating from ETP this year. After ETP, I am working on my job, find me, and hey, job when Jacob finds a good fit for me. And I like hanging out with Snoopy. After exiting ETP, Sean will work at his family's shop, The Hoarder's Attic, and will continue working with Trillium to find employment in the community. Hi, Paul. 
I here to graduate ETP this year. I ETP, I learned about, I work at, I work at job site every day. Proud of pay, job, probably job pizza. After exiting ETP, Paul will continue working at Papa John's Pizza. Hi, I'm Marlena and I'm graduating from ETP this year. My favorite part of ETP was seeing my friends and getting a job. I am proud of getting a job at Stan Clenty Salon. After exiting ETP, Marlena will continue working at Stan Parente Salon. After exiting ETP, Ben will continue working with Trillium to find a job in the community.
After exiting ETP, Bianca will continue working at Federal Way Public Schools Nutrition Services and with Trillium to find another job in the community. Hi, I'm Cindy Trapman. I'm graduating from ETP this year. At ETP, I learned how to clean up hallways and classrooms and even chairs and tables and cooking. I'm proud of myself for helping my friends. After exiting ETP, Sydney will continue working with Trillium to find a job at a bakery in the community. Hi, I am Julia and I'm graduating from ETP. I learned at ETP about job skills and job training preparedness. I'm proud of getting a job at Old Navy and Auburn Super Mall. After exiting ETP, Juliet will continue working at Old Navy. On behalf of all of us at the Employment Transition Program, congratulations to the 2021 exiting students. And now I have the pleasure of introducing our superintendent, Dr. Tammy Camel. Hello, staff and families. Greetings to the class of 2021. And once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive. You won't even be sure whether the storm is really over. But one thing is certain, when you come out of the storm, you won't be the same person who walked in. That's what this storm has been all about. This quote is by Haruki Murakami. I want to start by acknowledging parents, family, and guardians, because this year, more than any other in my 25-year career, we had to jointly partner to get our seniors across the threshold of graduation. With the onset of a pandemic, you were in your homes, learning with the encouragement and support of your family scholars. I would like to recognize our teachers, administrators, and support staff who provided instruction with care and expectation while personalizing the learning and making quick adaptations in your practice during this once in a lifetime crisis. You made a difference. And to you scholars, 
this year of incredible hardship and challenge also provided opportunity. Because with any difficulty, this is an opportunity to learn and grow. You took the isolation of working at home to foster discipline, independence, and organization. You told us what was working and what was not during remote learning, and we became a better system because we adjusted based on your insights. You stretched and deepened your skills on Zoom, Canvas, and many other platforms, building life and career skills that will last a lifetime. You see, we don't get to choose the challenges that are placed in front of us, but we do get to choose how we respond. Thank you for responding with grit, grace, and determination. We know our world will be more just, more informed, more compassionate, more inclusive, and ultimately more human because leaders like you will be the ones who will set the table for our future. Congratulations, class of 2021. We believe in you. Now get to it. Thank you, Dr. Campbell, for your encouraging and motivating words. We appreciate your vision and leadership in our district. Good afternoon. Thank you all for joining us to support these amazing young adults as they make the transition from the Employment and Transition Program in Federal Way Public Schools to a lifetime of new experiences and opportunities. Today we celebrate their achievement of our district strategic plan goal five, persistence to graduation, high school graduation through successful transitions. There is no question that this school year has been unusual. What started as a year of unknowns emerged as a year of opportunity. Opportunity for scholars and staff alike to learn new skills and to engage in new ways of interacting and learning. The time that these scholars have spent at ETP has provided them with the skills and confidence they need to find and keep meaningful employment and to engage as independently as possible in the community. These young people have prepared for paid employment through King County School to Work with the help of their teachers, paraeducators, and Trillium job coaches. The success our scholars celebrate today is directly connected to the experience our young people gain through the many internship hours they spend working at over two dozen job sites throughout the community. While we have not been able to have scholars in the job, on job sites this school year, they have continued to practice valuable job skills through home-based activities created by our teachers to simulate the work environment. Through these activities this school year and valuable on-site work experience in previous years made possible by the support of our many community partners, scholars have built skills that lead to lifelong success. To our exiting ETP scholars, I offer my congratulations. You have all worked so hard to learn, learn how to apply for jobs, do job skills, get to work on time, and get along with your coworkers. You have also learned how to enjoy yourselves in both the outside community and the community that you have created in person and online at ETP. I am so proud of your flexibility and willingness to learn new skills and for your wonderful contributions to the ETP community. When I look back on the class of 2021, I will always remember you as a class who overcame adversity with enthusiasm and humor. Even in the remote environment, you have dem demonstrated what it is to be a community. You have shown each other kindness and support. It is a joy to watch your interactions with the ETP staff and most importantly, with each other. I wish you the best as you embark on your new journey. Class of 2021, congratulations on making it this far. We are so proud of our class of 2021 seniors already making history. As you transition to Memorial Stadium, please ensure only yourself and four guests arrive at your scheduled time for graduation walk. Welcome friends and families to the ETP commencement ceremony for the graduating class of 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, 
my name is Jane Altamimi, and as principal of the Employment and Transition Program, I welcome you to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2021. I would like to acknowledge Federal Way Public School Superintendent, Dr. Tammy Campbell. Our school board members, Board President Jeffrey McAnally, Vice President Trudy Davis, Director Hiroshi Eto, Director Dr. Jennifer Jones. Director, Lukesha Phillips. Our district and school officials. Deputy, Deputy Superintendent, Dr. Danielle Pfeiffer. Learning Improvement Officer, Martin Boonstra. Learning Improvement Officer, Diane Ellis. Learning Improvement Officer, Chris McCrumman. Learning Improvement Officer, Dr. Eric Hong. Executive Director of Student Support Services, Dr. Jennifer Westover. As principal of the Employment and Transition Program, I proudly present the ETP Exiting Class of 2021. <laughs> the roll call of graduates will be read by staff members Jessica Lex and Becky Platt. Marshals, please begin dismissing the roll call of graduates. Sydney Trapman. <laughs> Juliet Whitehead. Sean McCartney. Cameron Hayes. Angelica Bianca Suizo. Marlena Skazafabe. <laughs> Nicholas Jackson. Evan Adams. <laughs> Olivia Barry. Thank <laughs> you. 
Joe Gabert. Benjamin Struthers. Matthew Glaybeck. Congratulations to the class of 2021. We are proud of you. <laughs> this concludes our graduation ceremony. Graduates, please stay socially distanced and look to your marshals, so your, our paras, um, for direction. You're going to be following them back over to the other side where you'll get ready to have your photo taken and then you'll be able to meet up with your family. Thank you.